different I've never done anything like this before and I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know where I'm going with this I just want to put out a quick disclaimer I'm not trying to brag or I'm not trying to like come off in the wrong way with this video concept I'm not trying to convey a wrong message about buying material and brand clothes mean you're cool I don't know I don't know if I'm quite honest with you, I never really buy brand clothes ever. I'm not a materialistic person at all and I don't really care about brand things. It wasn't until recent that I became more interested in like brand stories. In the past, I spend a lot of money on buying a lot of clothes, but not quality clothes. I'll be honest, I don't fit a lot of my older clothes anymore. So I did this huge closet clean out and I donated my clothes away. And then I told myself, you know what, I'm gonna splurge. You know, I deserve it. You know, I'm becoming more healthy. Uh, clothes fit me better now and I feel better about myself. I've never really bought things that were quality over quantity. So then I came up with this idea. <laughs> I spent over $2,000 on BTS clothes. <laughs> Hear me out. I'm actually really into it and I really like looking at what K-pop idols wear. So I might make this a segment if you guys like it, doing it with different groups. Got seven and eight. I don't really have a format for this video, so I'm just I guess I'm just gonna share some of the pieces I got and yeah, okay. First thing. Da -da -da. <laughs> Listen, Linda. <laughs> It took me forever to try to get this freaking sweater, okay? This is the Gucci striped wool intarsia sweater that J-Hope wore in the BTS DNA MV. <laughs> it is the most expensive piece out of everything I got. So I had a friend who found a website that sold it for a little bit cheaper. <laughs> cheaper yeah i had such a hate love relationship getting this one day i was off for it the next day i was like should i really but j-hope why come on just do it you can't just do it just do it you can use some money on something so much more important not only that the website gave me such a hard time trying to buy this anyways okay anyways but yeah talking to customer service i apparently bought the last one that they had in stock on the front it has this tiger face and on the back it has hollywood on it oh yeah this piece was a thousand <laughs> 470 bucks all together yeah so you bet i'm gonna wear this out every day yeah more than just the instagram post mm -hmm. i'm gonna wear this to my grandma's christmas party coming up this month because we celebrate christmas every month every day is christmas gift giving is love <laughs> Now that that huge guild is out of the way, <laughs> this is the next one. Um, I really, really like this sweater. This hoodie is from Staff Only, and it's the 4C hoodie in size. I don't know, but I think it was like medium, very big on. I forget where Jin wore this, but he wore this, and I just, just I am obsessed with the whole half half color thing. It's not like so fashionista esque. And I thought this piece was like seventy dollars or so, but on the actual website, which I love W Concept, I go on there all the time now. They sold it for a hundred and eight dollars. So. <laughs> the most slow creature in the world. Next piece. <laughs> this is Duck Dive's football hoodie, and I didn't buy this one. This was actually gifted to me through a friend from the brand. Shout out to Will, and also the shirt. <clears throat> Shout out to Duck Dive. I originally wanted the green one. They didn't have it in stock anymore because it sold out, so they only had the orange hoodie. And originally, I wanted the sweatpants with it, but that also sold out. Suga wore the green one in one of their live performances, so. This is $74 on Duck Dive's website. <laughs> Next piece is this. Love this. 
I love this. What do you call this? Not sweatpants. It's like a see. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to do these things. Whatever this is called. These are the modern line pants from BS Rabbit, and I have fallen in love with that brand. I really like their backstory as well, so that's a definite plus for me. Jen wore this from one of their teaser concepts, I think. I don't remember. For DNA. And they're only $54, which is like good on my behalf because listen, Linda, everything that I could find that BTS wore were like $1,000 up. So when I found something that was like $54, I was like, by the way, everything I have here were everything left in stock. All the other outfits and clothing I found and shoes and hats and accessories were all sold out. Cookie wore a t-shirt from H&M and it was like on sale for five bucks. I was so ready and then it was out of stock. I mean, go figure. <laughs> Depending at the angle, these pants give me a really good like long leg like. But then if you look at me regularly, I look like... Wearing a dress. I love the side. It says the future will be better tomorrow, right? Okay, yeah, I didn't butcher that. This material is different from this material. <laughs> I know, I'm so good at this whole thing. <laughs> Next is one of my favorites. <gasps> this is from Voy. Voy Bite? Voy Bit? Voy Bit? Voy. Don't know how to pronounce. This is a V520 stripe pocket turtleneck and it's in black and white. I mean black with white stripes. <clears throat> Roughly 80 bucks and oh, amen. Like, amen. Even though, you know, I'm not including shipping and handling and fees. Chimen wore this to other people. It's like, oh my gosh, that is such a good sweater. Like, so fetch. But me, oh my god, there's a pocket. You go put pop. In it. You could put your snacks in it when you go to the movies. No one will ever know, you know. It's a different reason for everyone. And I'm just obsessed with the freaking sleeves. Like, I just. <sighs> But yeah, thanks Chim Chim. Yeah, um, am I supposed to explain like the fabric? 90% cotton, 30% regret. Oh no, I don't regret it, remember? <laughs> okay, we have three pieces left. Oh, this kind of goes together. So, I just want to do it together. Just want to take a moment. This is my favorite piece. This is the Chim Chim one, but not only because this is Justin Siegel's outfit that was still in stock, but because the pants finally fit me, like, strong power, thank you. I don't know how to pronounce the brand, but it's from U-N-R-M-L, a normal milliliter, milliliter, I don't know. Together, this is about $200. The sweatshirt costs about a leg, and the sweatpants itself costs about a kneecap, so I'll put it together about 200 bucks. <laughs> You can buy them separately. Cookie wore this at the airport, which means it's one of his go-to outfits. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Bias goes. Although my sister said it looks like a trash bag, I disagree. So the sweater is like super soft and everything, but has this detailing where it looks like a trash bag. And then also a detailing on the hood. It has that lining as well. <laughs> the straps here are ribbons and there's the little logo. So that's for the hoodie. And then for the sweatpants, it has this thing ribbon and it's so soft. Like I die. Oh, yeah. Just look at it. Oh, still the price tag on. Um, I'm not returning these. This fabric must have kept cookies bum bum soft and warm. You have the brand name on the leg. So yeah. And yes, it will fit you if you want to buy it and you're the same size as me. Just make sure you get small or medium. And um, I'm about five subways along, so. Oh hey, it's you! I paid a liver for you. Guess how much this was? It was only ten bucks. I usually buy my beanies for like twenty dollars and up. Ten dollar? Don't worry, I have ten dollar with me. Take it. You know, like take all the ten dollar you want. Just kidding, just take. This is the Carhartt Knit Cap Watch, watch cap. I got it on Dick's online store. Maybe you can find it in store, I'm not sure. Chimin wore this in a selfie, I think, and I bought it. It has a vintage feel to it by the colors. But yeah, I really like that piece because it just costs like a fingernail. And I'm cool with that. Fingernails can grow. Legs, 
cannot. <laughs> my dirty dirty course stars <laughs> puma collaborated shoes with bts they're really worn out you guys saw them in my korea vlogs i got these for about 120 dollars and i'm pretty sure all the members have them and all the members worn them i know they have like the newer ones out but these i like That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all the pieces I wore and I'm so happy to actually have matching livers with um, J-Hope and stuff. And you know, BTS. I'm really sad I didn't get anything Z related or RM related, but that was because everything they wore that I could find sold out. I will say for sure, V is definitely the guy who invests a lot of money in his clothing because he was one of the members that wore like thousand dollars worth of clothing like on a normal daily process like this video if you guys want me to actually do more of these videos where i go out and buy the liver slapped me <laughs> <laughs> where I go and buy clothing items and outfits from your favorite K-pop groups. Definitely click this poll and vote for which group I should do this on next. I'm gonna burp. Yes, sis, yes, sis. And if not, then it's okay. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to bring more and more K-pop related videos here and I'm really excited. Until next time, I'm sending you love. Bye. Bye.